Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, we've got a couple of big weather features this week. Low pressure to our north, including a potential tropical cyclone and a big large high coming in from Tasmania. So let's kick off with the animated wind map for Monday and you can clearly see this developing tropical storm. It's currently called 97P and it's likely to become a cyclone either by the end of Tuesday or getting into Wednesday. And if it does become a cyclone, it will be called Hola, H-O-L-A. And it's named by the Fijian authorities coming straight after Cyclone Gita. So this is one to keep an eye on. The latest modeling does show it's likely to track just to the east of New Zealand, but with so much low pressure forming around northern New Zealand over the next few days, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on because it could easily track closer towards us. But at the same time, it could be pushed away by a big high out here, not even on the map just yet, but a big high that's pushing in from Australia this coming week. Now this is the latest satellite map. You can see here 97P. Uh, the orange coloring here means that it could form or is likely to form into a cyclone in the next day or so. It's between Fiji and Vanuatu and it's heading towards the New Zealand area. But as I say, some of the modeling at the moment shows it will go just off our east coast, but that could change. This is how we look for Tuesday. No sign of the storm to the north. In fact, We've got a cooler southerly coming in for Tuesday. Get used to a big temperature drop. It's going to be a much cooler week this week around the lower part of the South Island after what was a fairly mild weekend. So the colder winds come through here. There are some showers, mostly dry in the North Island on Tuesday, just a couple of isolated showers. And then we'll see more of the southerly change pushing in to the North Island on Wednesday. And this is Wednesday's setup. So you can see here, low pressure is forming as that southerly comes in. This may still change. There's been a lot of uncertainty this week with the computer modeling forecasting what happens around about Tuesday, Wednesday. So as you see here on Wednesday, there's this, the southerly that came into the North Island in week one. You've got the lows uh, forming up here around the north and it's just going to produce a bit of wind and rain. The wind being caused by the high pressure belt that's building and that's that big high I was just mentioning starting to show up. The big strong winds are out in the Tasman between that sinking low pressure and that building high pressure. By Thursday, look at the map now, there's that big area of sinking low pressure around northern New Zealand. It's driving in some rain and a bit of wind as well. Here's that big high I, I talked to you about at the very beginning of the video out over Tasmania. That is pushing in and then our cyclone likely to be formed now by Thursday up here near Vanuatu. So there is a lot of there are a lot of moving parts to our Thursday weather map, high pressure, low pressure and a potential cyclone all within our neighborhood. And then we get to the end of the week and Friday looks like this. Here's this big high. Now this big high is going to guide any tropical storm up here either uh, pushing it further away to us, or if this high shrinks a bit or drops further south, it could encourage the low to drop further south as well. But with this large area of low pressure, and this one as well, you can sort of see the likely path. This is high pressure, that's low pressure. So hopefully the storm will track out at sea, but even if it does, look at the strong winds that are being caused by the squash zone with that high and this low pressure belt. So either way, we are seeing a week of strong easterlies kicking in. They'll vary in the wind direction, whether it's northeast or east or southeast, but we do expect that to be in the mix. And then once we get to Saturday, this is the current thinking. There are two different models, one showing the low further to the north, the other one shows it further down to the south, but either way, they are both still picking it to be slightly east of New Zealand. But look, that's very close to us. The size of the storm is about the same size as my hand, which is about the same size as the North Island. So one to keep a close eye on. We'll obviously fine tune the details more and more as we go through the next few days. But in the meantime, we've got uh, a bit of high pressure around the country, a few showers, and that colder southerly coming into the South Island, especially on Tuesday. That's all from me. Our next update will be on Tuesday around lunchtime.